today I am joined here by three lovely ladies to talk about Handbags for Hope. Uh, it was created by these two high, uh, grade 11 students from Holy Rosary, Madison and Amber, um, and they are partnered with the Interval Home. So I will just pass it on to you. What made you decide to start this? Um, well, Madison and I felt that it was important to show that we want to give back to our community, especially as we've lived in Lloydminster most of our lives. So we thought that this might be a good way to help out the women of Lloydminster. And so what is Handbakes for Hope? So our goal was to deliver around 10 to 15 purses to the shelter by Mother's Day this Sunday. So we've been asking the community to donate handbags and purses as well as small items to be filled that could be put in a women's handbag. And we've completely reached our goal and the community is still giving and donating to us. And yeah. what was your initial goal to start out with? Um, 10 to 15 bags and we've actually got about 70 at this yeah. point. <laughs> And see, this is your first time doing mm -hmm. this. Did yeah. you expect to have such a <laughs> large community outreach? No, we are so <laughs> grateful for the like, communi community and the local businesses. They've been supporting us so much. Like, it's been crazy. Yeah. And why did you decide to partner with the Interval Home? Do you want, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, I volunteer at the Interval Store on Saturdays. And then we also can relate to the women there, because we're women ourselves. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're like, where can we donate that we can also like support and relate to? And we thought the strong women at the shelter. And I guess being a part of the shelter, when these girls approached you with this idea, uh, what 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 was going through your head? About it's really it. exciting. Um, yeah, I've known uh, Madison and Amber for a while now, and uh, when they uh, when the idea came about, it was a real honor. And it's so nice to see young women wanting to give back to women in the community that are vulnerable and are in need, and um, for having you know such inspiring youth among us um, that want to give back and contribute is is fabulous. And it's it's really. Um, heartwarming to see and it's really nice also for the women that do come to the interval home to feel that value and for them to get a gift like a handbag um, filled with personal items that of course they're going to need and will use um, is really special. And is this something that you would look at doing again um, next year or in the yeah, future? We for sure want to next year with how much uh, the community has been giving back to us already, so. Yeah, we definitely know we have the support with us now. Yeah. And if anyone wants to um, donate, you guys are still accepting donations till Mother's Day, how, um, how can they get in contact with you or how, um, where do they drop off the handbags? Um, well, they can always drop off the handbags at the Interval Home. Also, places like Dawn Interiors is taking donations and stuff, so. Yeah, and they have until up until Sunday to um, just bring in any handbags or stuff to go into handbags. Yeah, Is that how it works. Yeah, even after we'll accept them for sure because the interval home will put them aside for the women who come after Mother's Day to be given them. So, okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, perfect. Um, if you would like to donate a handbag to help support a handbags for hope, you can uh, do so before Mother's Day, after Mother's Day, whenever. Um, so thank you for coming in and explaining um, this amazing uh, charity event. Thank you. Thank you.